Mike from Cargo Trailer Sales, and today I'm going to show you a super custom 7x16 ATC aluminum frame trailer that we've done a lot of custom modifications to for our client. At the front of the trailer, we've got a massive triple tube A-frame, 2x8 cross members. We've got an enclosed generator compartment and housing a Cummins Onan 7,000 watt generator that's got a 24 gallon in-frame fuel tank to run for hours on end. This is the front partition of the trailer. The trailer is actually split into two separate rooms. The back is a garage area which is going to house a robot and then the front area is the workspace where the operator is going to be positioned. We've got a chair that we installed that's got several different uh, axes that you can move it and adjust it on. We've got a custom screen mount that houses four screens in a pyramid section. We designed all this and built it in-house. Uh, you got your countertop, printer area, some areas for additional electronic peripherals, and you probably can't see it, but there's a rooftop AC unit here that also has heat as well to keep this thing climate control. I got several things to show you at the rear of the trailer. You'll notice up top, the very top, we have an LED scene strobe light. That'll actually send directional patterns, either left or right, to direct traffic around the vehicle. We also have two loading lights that are powered on right now. Those are also LED and will help you loading at night. And then in the very center, there's a wireless camera system, which will go up to a receiver in the tow vehicle so that you actually have a backup camera on the trailer as well. We also have the stainless steel paddle latches. We've got a nice positive snap lock. You can hear them open. And spring assisted ramp in the world. Stepping inside the trailer, you're going to notice that there's a lot of extra peripherals we've installed for our client. Uh, we do have an onboard pneumatic mast that has a PTZ dome camera mounted to the top. This goes up through the roof. Uh, that's controlled here by compressor and control switch. We've got some GPS antennas as well as a tripod mount for that. Uh, a water system which pumps from an under uh, underbody water tank. And then we have a charging system as well as some ad additional peripherals for the robot that's going to be housed in the rear of this trailer. Here in the front of the garage area, you're going to notice that we've got a beautiful double glass sliding door. This is all aluminum framed. And this is going to keep the front compartment climate controlled for the operator, but still allow full visibility to the rear where the robot's going to be sitting and operating out the ramp door. We've also got a winch here in case the robot breaks down. They can easily pull it in. And then a wireless winch control, which is mounted right here on the wall to control that winch. I'm going to quickly show you how the pneumatic mast works. It's fully hooked up to a compressor system. And it does house a PPZ IP camera on the top. 